Hey hey, so I promised that I would do a quick video on how I'm doing automated water changes and how it didn't cost me as much as some of them more expensive auto aqua ones um, and works just as well in my opinion. So, the side of the tank I have two containers. One is dirty water and one is fresh water. Fresh water one, I've just got a small bulkhead on there that just has a pipe that goes all the way down just to make sure this doesn't come out and stays in draws water up through the pipe and then the back and the waste just goes through a hole in one of these containers. Inside my sump we have two peri pumps. Um, these are, I don't know if you've got the manufacturer on there, as I can't remember, they are basically air conditioning condensate removal pumps. Uh, they're not rated to be on constantly uh, but you can still run them for quite some time. So we have one of them that basically takes water up from there and puts that out in the waste and the other one there, you can see, goes all the way around, goes to the water that's coming in the tank, and it drops it down through that big pipe there. That's all controlled from a very simple digital timer here. So I set that basically to come on for 10 minutes at 1 p.m., 1 a.m., 2 a.m., and 3 a.m. So they basically come on for about half an hour over the space of a night, but it spaces it out because I wouldn't want to run the pump for long, the peri pumps for longer than maybe 10 minutes. Um, that seems to work fine. Um, a lot of people have asked me whether this affects ATO, so you can see that my ATO is running now and that's because I have that on a timer, um, that it only runs for a certain proportion of the night and then stops. Now this makes them a bit counterintuitive because the idea is that they stop overflowing. This is actually mainly because I have this connected directly to my Rodi. If I do lots of small water changes or lots of small water top ups throughout the day, it tends to give quite higher than I want TDS. So by doing one massive one, I get a very, very small amount of higher TDS and then back to where I want it to be. So completely unrelated to the auto water change. When I did test this to make sure that it wasn't affecting the water level, um, I turned this on normal mode, let it run for 10 minutes just to see if that set the ATO off and it didn't even flinch, didn't come on. So doing the auto water changes that way, it removes exactly the same amount of water as it's putting in. There probably is a slight variance due to maybe tube length, but because they're both in the same place, the container's in the same place, I think it's around the same. So yeah, relatively easy. I picked both of these pumps up for, I think it was 40 or 45 pounds. Um, they were brand new, so there is deals to be had on these sort of things. Just keep your eye out for air conditioning, condensate, um, peri pumps. They come with some connections for various different things, but essentially there's a, a, a positive and a negative that would turn them on and turn them off and all you do is just put them in here so both these wires go off to the pumps and that one to one of the plugs in there nice and easy we can turn it on manually so you can see that's running manually draw water up and then small little amounts come in there but that's all it takes put that back on auto so there we go nice and easy and much much cheaper than the slightly more convoluted systems so give it a go.